I'm Dr. Charles with Life Boost Coffee, and there are a lot of new trends out there when it comes to adding things such as protein powder, for example, to your cup of coffee in order to boost your health or athletic performance. One of the most popular ones that I've seen is adding collagen powder to your morning cup. In this video, I want to talk about some of the biggest questions out there about collagen and also why adding it to your coffee can, in fact, be effective when it comes to getting the best benefits from this type of protein. As we age, our bodies aren't able to produce collagen the way that it used to. We generally notice this decreased production in a mirror, for example, you know, the dark spots, sagging skin, the fine lines, and the wrinkles. This is why you've likely seen collagen advertised as a beauty product. But while your skin, hair, and nails certainly need collagen for optimal health, a lack of collagen can also affect joint pain, heart health, liver function, and a lot more. Collagen is the most abundant source of protein in your body. Its structure is fibrous and it is abundantly found in your skin, bones, cartilage, connective tissues, tendons, and ligaments. In Greek, the word collagen means glue. And like glue, collagen can bind and hold things together. So collagen does this to your bones, your tendons, and ligaments to provide structure. But also like glue, collagen can provide flexibility or elasticity, allowing tissues to be stretched while ultimately retaining their shape as it does in your skin and connective tissues, cartilage, and your muscles. Nearly 28 types of collagen have been identified by scientists, but there are three that are the most common that make up 80 to 90% of what is found in your body, types one, two, and three. Type one collagen is usually found in fish and bovine supplements, including powders, and features the amino acids proline, glycine, and hydroxyproline. These are the most abundant amino acids in collagen, and they are commonly end up in fibroblasts, which are special types of cells within your skin and connective tissues. This type of collagen is a major component of your skin, nails, muscles, tendon, organs, bones, gums, teeth, eyes, blood vessels, and your organs. Type two collagen is typically found in cartilage, the connective tissue protecting the ends of your long bones and your joints. And finally, type three collagen specifically works together with type one collagen in your bones, your bone marrow, cartilage, and connective tissues. While your body naturally produces collagen, there are some factors such as sleep, nutrition, and sun exposure that can affect this production. However, the biggest hindrance to collagen production is age. And as we get older, we produce less collagen. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, signs of reduced collagen production can range from your skin showing more wrinkles or fine lines to aches and pains in your joints, as well as decreased ability to recover from workouts not to mention slow wound healing, and even in some cases, GI issues. The growing trend of adding collagen to your daily coffee routine can add to your body's natural supply of collagen, which can stimulate more collagen production. Even better, coffee on its own has some powerful health benefits, including many which improve collagen production and function within the body. Did you know coffee is packed full of antioxidants? More specifically, antioxidants in coffee block enzymes which destroy collagen. And this can boost your collagen levels as well as aid in the function of collagen. One of the ways coffee and collagen make some powerful ways in your body is by improving the health of your liver. Coffee alone is a huge liver health aid. When you drink coffee, as your body digests the caffeine, a chemical called paraxanthine is created which slows down the growth of scar tissue of the liver. And some of the antioxidants in coffee protect against liver cancer. But when you combine collagen rich in amino acids with coffee, this helps to protect your liver against the damage it can incur as it filters toxins from your body. Glycine, one of the most abundant amino acids in collagen, controls the production of cytokines in the liver, promoting healthy detoxification to keep your liver healthy and functioning properly. Another powerful effect of coffee and collagen can have is on your GI tract, or your gastrointestinal health. Coffee stimulates the production of hormones and acids that help to break down your food within your stomach. It also prompts the secretion of hormones that increase the production of bile, another needed substance in digestion. Some coffees are demonized for causing digestive issues, which is a side effect of low quality coffee, which contains molds, mycotoxins, as well as the high acidity of most of the coffees. If you drink a high quality, low acid brand of coffee like Life Boost Coffee, coffee does not have the same negative effect on the digestion and stomach. And when you combine a clean, healthy coffee with collagen, you also gain protection for the lining of your gastrointestinal tract. Collagen protects the mucosal lining of your gut, ensuring your body properly absorbs needed nutrients throughout the digestive process and preventing leaky gut, which is a key contributor to chronic inflammation, autoimmune disorders, irritable bowel syndrome, and more. The list of benefits coffee has when combined with collagen goes on and on and includes improving your joint health, 
your heart health, increasing good cholesterol, as well as restoring the elasticity in your skin. In short, collagen is a great health boost to your morning cup of coffee. One of the biggest questions around this trend is whether or not the collagen becomes degraded when added to a hot beverage. In short, collagen is a great boost to your morning cup of coffee. While it is true that the structure of proteins can be altered when exposed to high heat, most studies have shown collagen proteins do not begin to break down or degrade until exposed to temperatures at or exceeding 302 degrees Fahrenheit, with some research even concluding this degradation does not occur until 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Most coffee is brewed at roughly 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning your collagen and coffee combo is completely safe and still just as effective. If you're worried about the collagen becoming degraded and negating its awesome health power, you can always add it to cold brew or iced coffee instead and still get the antioxidants and benefits from combining it with coffee. The last thing I want to leave you with here is to watch out for adding sugar when you are adding collagen to your coffee. Many folks like to add sugar or sugar-based syrups to their daily cup of joe, but sugar has negative effects on collagen. Sugar destroys collagen, causing it to break down through what is known as cross-linking. This causes collagen, which is normally flexible, to become stiff. We notice this in our skin and the loss of elasticity. Essentially, if you're adding collagen to your coffee along with a large dose of sugar, you're rendering the collagen ineffective. Have you ever heard that sugar ages you? This is why. If you want to incorporate collagen into your daily routine, you want to switch to natural sweeteners so you don't negate the health benefits. If you're looking to incorporate collagen into your daily cup of coffee, follow the link in this video's description for some simple and delicious recipes.